Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here, July 27th. Okay, so I'm sure by now everyone's heard of the uh, Colorado Massacre at the Aurora uh, Cinema. Um, I've, I've posted a few things here on my website um, from uh, some great detective work. I'll get back to that in a second. I'll leave a link to this story here, uh, to this website, by the way. I've just opened up a new website. And um, you can go read the story yourself and uh, find out how they found a second gas mask. That's right, <laughs> two gas masks. Lone shooter? Forget about it. Anyways, uh, I'm not going to get into that right away. I'll leave a link to this stuff. I'll come back to it in a second. What this is about is a story that came out of 4winds10.com uh, here. And as you can see, Colorado Massacre linked to historic bank fraud. Boy, oh boy, if you don't think this affects you, you, you must have heard of the LIBOR uh, scandal. Well, if you haven't, it mentions it in here again. This affects everyone. Your credit, uh, your, your your interest rates, it affects every single one of us. And what's interesting here, I'll, I'll read off some of it. I'll leave a description, I'm sorry, I'll leave a link down below in the description box. You can go link up there and read it yourself or hit the space bar and uh, read at your own pace here. But I'm only going to read the, the most important parts here. Okay, so it starts off a highly disturbing Ministry of Finance report uh, on the largest bank fraud in history that is circulating in the Kremlin today warns that it is within the realm of possibility that the shocking movie massacre in Colorado this past week is but another integral part in the deliberate plan put in place by Western banking elites and their allies to collapse the global economy. Now, those of you who have been following me here, I've been blogging since uh, 2008. It's one of the things I talked about is that I discovered conspiracies that there, these rich mother tuckers plan on collapsing the entire world's economy. That's right, global depression for everybody and put us back on a one world currency. Well, that's basically what this story is all about here. And um, like I said, I'm not going to read the whole thing. The most important part uh, comes in right about here, okay? Uh, most important to note about jo uh, James Holmes, however, this report says is that his father, Robert Holmes, was said to have been scheduled to testify within the next few weeks before a U.S. Senate panel on the largest bank fraud scandal in the world history that is currently unfolding and threatens to destabilize, destabilize and destroy the Western banking system. Robert Holmes, whose blue blood family links to uh, go back to the Mayflower, is known throughout the uh, global banking community as being the creator of one of the most sophisticated computer algorithms ever developed and is credited with developing predictive models for financial services, credit and fraud risk models, first and third party application fraud models, and internet online banking fraud models. That's important, folks. This guy, he, he, he was not a uh, Joe Blow, okay? Very important in the uh, banking sector and fraud, as you can see. Okay, educated at uh, California Berkeley. He's uh, currently the senior lead scientist with the American credit score company FICO, which is uh, was formerly known as Fair Isaac and Company, which is uh, and which every American citizen is beholden to should they ever need to borrow money. Okay, the massive, right here, the massive banking crime investigated by the U.S. Senate is called LIBOR scandal, where U.K. banks fix London interbank borrowing rate with the compl complicity of the Bank of England and U.S. Federal Reserve, which knew about this crime for four years and didn't report it, and many other major Western banks. Not known to the majority of those affected by, of, by this LIBOR rate scandal, which is everyone in the world, is that it is historically low settings and sorry, is that it's historically low setting of interest rates since the beginning of the global financial crisis of 2007-2012 has done more to destroy the life savings, stock investments, and retirement of American middle class than any other single event in their entire history. Even worse, according to this report, Holmes recently completed his work on what is called one of the most sophisticated computer algorithms ever developed that had not only uncovered the true intent of this massive fraud, but is also able to trace the trillions of dollars lost to the exact bank accounts of the elite classes who have stole it. Like I said, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I got rather disgusted and upset at this point. I'm like, those, those sick, sick, sick people are now, I guess, uh, at the point here where they're, they're, they've, they've uh, went after this Robert Holmes' son here. Uh, and I guess they're trying to do everything they can to prevent him from testifying. It's, um, okay, like I said, you'll have to go to my website. To, okay, I've opened up here Connecting Dots, 
www.youtube.com. Um, it's hard to find for some reason YouTube, or I should say Google, does not want people to find it. I've tried multiple searches myself. You'll have to type it in exactly the way it is written on the board right there, HTTP semicolon double slash www, okay? And that's where you'll find it. This is the forum part of it. Uh, you'll notice here I have a, like an ongoing uh, uh, scroll here of the most recent stories that I've posted and you, you'll find a lot of the stuff here that I've been posting on the um, on the shooting and uh, one of the topics or should say that the, the main one here is the second joker mask found at the um, corner of the theater it's uh, quite interesting uh, I, I put a lot of information there it's not all my own digging of course I'm just digging out looking for the stories it's other people that have found this I mean even the scanner audio you go listen to the audio they say on the audio that there was more than one person the, the guy goes on to say, uh, he says a second suspect is dressed in blue or uh, black and blue or something like that, or blue and white, I think he said. Anyhow, and um, yeah, just that whole trace of blood. I mean, this is his car. This is where he was found, right? W where's this stuff going? Well, what's that big trace of blood? There's so many questions here. And by the way, at that first story I told you here uh, at uh, Four Winds, You'll notice at the very bottom here, the the guy himself goes on to say, why did Holmes go to the extensive uh, expense and trouble rigging his apartment with a ray of deadly uh, explosive and then immediately tell the police that his his apartment is wired with bombs? And then uh, given the fact that he's a graduate student in neuroscience, uh, where do you obtain the skills to create a, a maze of bombs so complex that it took the FBI two days to disarm it? That's right. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of questions here that uh, raise alarms, and I think this final story here on the historic bank fraud is the one that connects the dots. Um, yeah, it's sad. They're trying to pass gun control over this whole thing. You know, BS. There's more to this. It all has to do with the global financial crisis and how... The LIBOR <laughs> rate scandal. Anyhow, I'll leave a link down below. You can read the story. And like I said, I'm also here, connectingdots1.com. I, I, you know, that's the sad thing about videos. You know, a lot of times you make a video and you find information thereafter. Well, that's what this forum's all about, folks. Uh, I'll add stories. I'll make a video. I'll put it on the forum. But I'll keep adding the new information as I get it. Um, I, I just... I'm not into making a video every five seconds. I got other things on the go here, but uh, I'm definitely following the international scene and what's taking place. And uh, yeah, a lot of stuff taking place. Take care, folks.